Hey there, we're Crystal and Eric, corporate remote workers, Airbnb photographers, and now full-time van lifers. We like traveling off the beaten path and finding hidden gems along the way. If you like that too, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more. And come along with us today as we post a video every day for our first 30 days in the van. Yay, we're going to Connecticut. Notably not in the van, and I'm so sad, guys. I literally dreamt of the van last night, which sounds psychotic, but I was dreaming that like we heard from the mechanic and I don't remember anymore, but I woke up thinking like, this is clearly the biggest thing going on in my life right now. <laughs> to be fair, this whole thing is psychotic. I think this is, keeps driving so close to me. I know, it's, it's so like weird to be low now. Like everything <laughs> feels so weird. We got so used to being in the van. Low and fast, man. I keep uh, on the steering wheel, like trying to use the same buttons, but they're all different places. Oh man, I got so used to it. Such a bummer, but we're not gonna let this ruin our weekend. We will hopefully hear from the mechanic today. And we're gonna go to a concert and we're gonna keep living our life. And thank God we had hotel points to cash in. And we got Marriott status out of the deal. So we everything happens for a reason honestly guys. it does it does so we're still trying this is a lesson in perspective we're still doing our best and Woo! Get, here we come Woo -hoo! low bridges that aren't even marked connecticut what are you doing i'm trying to see the exact height of each bridge I want some reassurance here. To be fair, there was a notice before you got on the parkway here in Connecticut that says, I think, eight foot clearance only, which is really, really, really low. It makes you think, like, <laughs> how short is that? Is that, like, am I, is my car is okay? Is my car okay? Honestly, eight feet really clears I, out some trucks, <laughs> even like regular trucks. So Connecticut would have been probably a difficult drive in the van we're seeing. We have driven this a couple times, but I guess it never registered for us that we have these overpasses. And yeah, these aren't marked. So this would have been a much more adventurous drive oh had we been in the van. <laughs> Check out our beautiful view of the Bob's Furniture and oh. Cube Smart from the Fairfield Inn and in Suites. I actually have shopped at Bob's a lot. I know that My about you. My whole first apartment was all Bob's. They have some really cute things. Introducing the sponsor of this video, Bob's. Yeah, Bob's Furniture. <laughs> we did get some pretty good news on the van. We should be getting it back when we get back from Connecticut on Saturday. Yeah, we could have gone and picked it up today. I think they actually fixed what they needed to fix and it was an easy fix, which was great. And we'll tell you more about that in the video when we pick it up soon. But we're just super excited because we're obviously not home right now, but it's ready for us. But we are in Connecticut. We're still going to have a great time in Connecticut. I feel like parents who are having their first date night after their baby is born and we're like, oh, okay, everything is good it's We're with a away. trustworthy babysitter and we get to have a fun date night <laughs> it is such a relief to know that it is safe and we'll be back to it and it will be in proper order very very soon and that means that we can have as much fun as we want in connecticut <laughs> i have a really complicated relationship with connecticut on one hand I don't like going to Connecticut. <laughs> it's got traffic, the food is overrated, it's just like a bunch of people who would rather be New Yorkers but for some reason live here. Those are things that are true about Connecticut. <laughs> but some of the best memories of my entire life are in Connecticut. If I were to tell somebody who's never been to Connecticut, like my thoughts on traveling there, I'd say, you gotta go. Mm -hmm. There are some incredible places to visit. We've made videos about them during the pandemic. The places I'll never forget and mm -hmm. always cherish, like Stonington and Mystic. We have obviously been here a lot. We are still excited to be here. You know, we love it for what it is, but we see its faults a lot too. But today and this weekend is going to be different. We're in town for a concert tonight. So... We're gonna see Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, and I I'm so excited because I think this is going to be an awesome show. And State Champs, which I love as yeah! well. We <laughs> wanted to see MGK in his pop punk era yes. and this is going to be a huge hit for us. We wanted the van to be here, but the van, they'll have to just come next time. This is for, for us. This one's for us. <laughs> so we're going to rest up because we've been driving on and off all day. We'll catch you at the concert, I think, next. Yeah, see you there.